Hey YouTubers, back at you with uh, Mike and Brian. Today we have a uh, XR10 and we're going to be doing kind of a budget build on this. We're going to try and do it a little cheaper than uh, what uh, most of the people use. Uh, you can spend a lot of money building one of these cars and one of the things that uh, is expensive right off the bat are the tires and the foams. Um, these are uh, Hot Bodies Rovers, which work very well, and these are the foams that uh, they give you, which um, when you put these foams in these tires, they run real flat, and they sell oversized foams for these tires, but they're about um, 10 or 12 dollars a set, so, and the foam that comes with the tire is just not big enough, so we end up with kind of a real flat tire. Um, We've run these before and they work alright, but you want to have this tire full in most cases and uh, this is just a little bit too small. So, we're going to show you how to cut your own foam out of a piece of stock foam. So let's get that foam out. Go ahead and open that up. What we have is a piece of 2 inch foam that you can get uh, at any craft store or, or uh, any place that sells material. And it, it only costs oh, maybe five or six dollars for this sheet of foam. So what you want to do, this foam is just a little bit too small. So what we want to figure out is how tall the tire is. And these tires are about five and a half inches tall. You want to zoom in on that tape measure there. They're about five and a half inches tall. So we want our, our foam... Um, to be just a little bit bigger than that. Um, so we're going to go, I think, about five and, oh, five and three quarters, five and five eighths about. So what we want to do is we're going to use a compass and a marker and some tape and a cutter. So what we'll do is we'll just take this tape and tape our marker to the edge of our compass, like so. And this compass basically just makes um, circles, you know. Um, you can use anything to build a compass. You don't have to use a regular compass, but you just want to have something that you can make a circle with. So we're going to go five and a half inches tall. So we want to split that in half which is two and three quarters. So we'll set this compass at two and three quarters which will give us five and a half total. So what you want to do is set your edge far enough away so that here we've got our, our center point right there. Put a little dot right there on our, our center so you know where you started from because we're going to do two circles. One for the, uh, let me see what those rims. Okay. One for the 2 inch or 2.2 on this side and then of course the outside. So we'll set that in the middle and we'll just draw our circle around now you have the size of your foam that you want. So that's the outer edge. Then the inner is two, about two inches. You want a two inch hole in the middle. So what you want to do is take your ruler and you're going to have this about one inch apart. So between your center point and your marker you want to be right at about one inch apart. Can you focus in on on that? You kind of see see how this is right there at one inch wide. So once we make this circle we will have, which I've kind of got my marker a little bit too long, but we will have a two inch 
circle in the middle. So there you have it, right there. Now, I'm just going to take a knife. I'm going to use this long one right here and just cut into the foam like so. Just kind of get a rough cut first. Now that we've got our, our piece kind of rough cut, we're just going to go around through here and try to keep this as straight as possible. And we're going to work our way around this line, trying to stay on the line as much as possible and keeping that blade as straight as possible. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to curve the edges once we're all done. So, but you just want to get it as close as possible. So we end up with a round tire. And it doesn't take very long to do this. Um, and you'll, you can make several foams out of one piece of sheet, you know, so you can save a lot of money by making your own foams. And then of course you can do a star pattern and make different uh, consistency of the foam or if you want it firmer or softer. And you just cut all the way around. Cut that inner circle out. And you pop this dude out too. And then you have your foam insert. And then you're going to take this and squish it up. Stick it in the tire. And then you're just going to check it and see how it feels as far as the how hard the, and stiff the tire is. But you'll see that once we get this thing in there, that fills the tire completely, and these stand up nice and tall. So now we have a, a full Rover tire with a very inexpensive foam insert. So you do that four times and go ahead and zoom out. Do that four times and uh, you'll have all four tires ready to go. And that's how you do a inexpensive foam insert for a Rover tire when the inserts they give you are a little bit too small. So that's it for now.